Hey, what up, y'all? It's the one and only Do My Dash. And this is the review, the video that y'all have probably been looking for. Because I have. Bad mail! <laughs> yep. This is part one of my unboxing video for my MVP3 and my Sub Tank Mini by Kanger Tech. Put the Sub Tank Mini package aside for now because I will be focusing on my MVP3 to start this video and hopefully Stiggy doesn't mess up the <laughs> video like she has a few times that I've tried to do the video so that will go alright she's away from the keyboard now so it should be all good there we go MVP3 yeah, baby, right here. Uh huh. Right there. MVP3 in flush. Well, in the video. Put it that way. In the video. <laughs> yeah. I have opened these packages beforehand, you know, so it wouldn't take forever in the video doing it. So here we go. There we go. Get rid of this. MVP3 charging cable, you know what this is. The Ego to 510 adapter is right here, although I probably won't be using an Ego tank in this thing, at least at first, because let's face it, that's why I got the sub tank mini. <laughs> when you get a mod that runs up 30 watts or down to 0.4 ohms, you're not really thinking about putting an ego threaded sub tank on, or, well, ego threaded clear my tank. And Stiggy just went back up on the computer tower, so who knows, he went to your tail. Who knows? Anyway. There's the MVP in flesh. The top part with the 5 tank connection and the battery indicator LED. You have the side, you have the fire button, the display screen, and the you know, the adjust button the bottom with the attached uh, output cable just in case you want to charge your phone with this bad boy. Because you can, just like in the MVP2, you can charge your phone with this thing in a pinch if you decide to do that. Anyway, I thought about it and I'm thinking, see, there's a button right here. I'm thinking about just vaping it like this, you know, holding it like this, taking a vape. You know how it goes. But yeah, that's my MVP3. Charging cable, 5 tank to Ego adapter. You have your manual. Read up on this bad boy before it bait it. You have your two Anakin stickers, although I'm not sure where I'm going to put these things. I'm sure I'll find a place to get <laughs> But yeah, Anakin stickers that rock. Back real quick, real quick. And let's see, blah, 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 blah. Put that aside. Because now it's time for me to unveil the sub tank mini. Yeah, baby, right here did the packaging black and red. My signature colors, if you will, along with yellow. If you've seen my videos, you've seen my outro to my videos, you know that. The Eclipse thing and all that good stuff. But yeah, the sub tank mini box. Well, the outer sleeve, put it that way. inner box. You are hearing the end of Deep Purple Space Trucking. We're about to go into Highway Star. Both these songs are from my copy of the 25th Anniversary Edition 2 CD set of Deep Purple's Machine Head album. Album's awesome as a whole. Awesome as a whole. I love it. Anyway, 
sub tank mini inner box. You have your specs on the back and the front, the picture of the sub tank mini. Let's slide this bad boy out. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Here we go. In the flesh. In the do my video. Won't be vaping this thing for too long. <laughs> and of course. Before I get into the sub tank real quick, you have your card for the caution to prime the OCC head before you start vaping on it, which I will do with high BG juice. I will get to my juice that I will be vaping first in this thing in part two of this video, which I'll be shooting in a couple days after I, you know, make sure that the sub tank is clean. You know, I don't want to have any machine oil residue on the sub tank I'm sure you understand anyway back to the sub tank mini under the display for the sub tank mini you have your manual for your sub tank mini here's a manual here's your kangaroo identification card you know authenticity codes and all that good stuff or to find it on the box to make sure you get the genuine article <laughs> and the manual in the inner cover of you know the box then you have what's inside the box under the sub tank you have a small bag of organic Japanese cotton like the Kogendo, Kogendo, don't know how you say it, but the cotton pads that everybody's raving about. You have a small sample of this stuff, is wicking material for your RBA head, or, well, RBA deck, I should say. That in the cover again. Here you go, interior of the box. You have your O rings, spare O rings, the little mini blue screwdriver. My first of many, I'm sure that I'll be getting, you know, from being a bait pad. And extra screws, extra coil, all that good stuff. You have your RBA deck right here with the coil inside, you know, install, pre install, which rocks. I'll probably get to try this thing out for too long. Don't know when, but you know, for too long, I'm sure. Then you have your 1.2 ohm OCC coil head right here. And to top it all off, you have your glass for the extra glass for the sub tank mini. Right here. Nice and thick, I think. I think Kanger did a pretty good job of packing with this stuff. It looks cool. I hope, I hope y'all enjoy watching this video. It's not even done yet. We're just about halfway done. But I think that's all for now. I'm going to go and do some stuff and get to bed because it is the morning of Tuesday, March 3rd, 2K15. And I will get back to this video at a later date. Catch y'all later. Stay tuned for part two. Coming up now. Doom, doo, doo, doom, doo, doom, 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 doom. It's do my vape review. I'm back. <laughs> the waters of modern technology didn't take long at all. Just flipped on over, and now we're on Wednesday, March 4, 2K15, and I'm here to give you the conclusion of my MVP3 slash sub tank mini unboxing video. As well as reviewing a great local weed juice. First of all, I got a little surprise for y'all. You saw the Sub Tank Mini in the MVP3 a few minutes ago. Me unboxing the thing. You haven't seen the setup as I have it right now, but you will. Here it is right now. Right here, baby. MVP3 sub tank. Check out the drip tip. 
check out the drip tip 14 millimeter carbon fiber yes I did say carbon fiber drip tip and it complements my do my vaping machine quite well I must say doesn't get hot like I've heard the stock drip tip for the MV or for the sub tank 3 mini does nice wide bore if you'll you know look in there looks pretty good take a vape real quick show you how this thing kicks out the vape like a boss Oh uh, yeah, baby. You gotta love that. <laughs> and I am vaping this thing at 20 watts. You probably can't see it in the video, but the screen says 20 watts right here. 20 watts. I have had it as high as 22.5 watts, but after a few vapes with the 22.5 watt setup you got a little toasty got a little burnt flavor so I dialed it back to 20 watts but it doesn't matter the vape is warm the flavor is rich the clouds are awesome what I am vaping in this thing right now is the juice that I will be reviewing in this video Lucky Ruckus's Granny's Inclination E Juice you got six milligrams of nicotine, high VG in this bottle, specified specifically for my MVP3 slash sub tank mini that I was anticipating on getting. I'm glad that I got the sea juice. First of all, before I go into further on the sea juice, the song that you're hearing right now is Cloud Tasters Part Two. Part Two by the Seven City Syndicate. If y'all will remember, in one of my earlier vaping videos, I played the original Cloud Chasers vape anthem from Seven City Syndicate. It's kind of cool. I actually got a post from Dramatize, spelled D-R-O-M-A-H-T-Y-Z, Dramatize, from Seven City Syndicate. We got posted on that video that I had the original Cloud Chasers vape anthem on told me about this new anthem I'm feeling it I'm really feeling it man it got a great vibe it's got a great you know just overall great sound anyway take another vape off my do my vaping machine <clears throat> anyway the juice like I said Granny's Inclination from Lucky Ruckus based here in Amarillo Texas LuckyRuckus.com I'll go ahead and link to their website on my description what's this stuff taste like well it's a peach berry cobbler that's what I'm picking up uh, got a great peach flavor slash berry flavor overall is real good juice like I said six milligram nicotine high BT which I'm not quite sure of the you know PG BT ratio but they say it's high BG on the label so yeah I'm going with that uh, Vapes really well on the NPP3 with the mini sub tank on it. The aerosol on this tank is awesome, man. I've only got it in the two hole setting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's two hole setting. There's a slot that's the wide open setting. I've vaped on that one a couple times. It's been awesome. But airflow is such that you can just breathe when you're vaping this thing. Just breathe in. 
he didn't have to think about, you know, like inhaling the vapor, he could just breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, easy breezy beautiful. But yeah, Lucky Ruckus's Granny's Inclination E Juice, I would highly recommend if you like fruity juice, excuse me, fruity E Juice, or, you know, dessert vapes, this stuff, this stuff pretty good. Check out LuckyRuckus.com. Get yourself a bottle. Tell them I sent you. I'm sure they appreciate, uh, you know, the shout out. <laughs> Speaking of which, the song's about over, so I'm gonna take another vape and get out of here for this review. Hope you liked it. Do my top for now, bake on. See y'all later.